the uh, model is that we develop and, and give the evidence for in the, in the first idea book is that when you are in the catastrophic expressive mode of emotion, you are driven by your affect. Again, you, you're going from zero to 60 in two seconds, okay? You're in the fight flight reaction mode. When you get into, co and in that mode, your perceptions and your actions are tied together. So perception and action are part of one unit almost. I mean, you see and you grab. You get mad and you bite, okay? You get scared and you withdraw. Okay, so you get perception and action tied together. When you get into co-regulated affect signaling, what happens? You now are no longer tied to, your, to these perceptual motor patterns. Now you have interaction, emotional signaling, as a substitute for catastrophic discharge, right? So for the first time, perception and motor reaction are separated. Because now you have perception, you see mommy, you want some milk, you don't just scream and yell, or you don't just grab, but you flirt, right? Ooh. Or you want a hug, you don't just grab, you flirt, right? So now you have affect signaling between the perception and the action, right? So we're separating perception from action. Now, if once we separate perception from action, what is a freestanding perception? If you see a picture, if you see mommy and you're not driven to action, what do you have in your mind? A multi-sensory picture, right? You have a freestanding image. You no longer have a perceptual motor pattern, but you have a freestanding image. What can you do with that image? You begin investing it with different emotions, different experiences. Mommy hugs me. Mommy does this with me. Mommy does that with me. Or daddy does this with me. That image builds up emotional investment, right? And that becomes the first idea. And that's the way we believe ideas are formed. Perceptions get freed from their actions through co-regulated affect signaling, take on emotional meaning, and become the first ideas. We think that's what happened in evolution, and we think that's what happens in the life of each baby. Now, of course, it has to be a certain biological uh, substrate for this to happen, but we believe the interactive elements are the sufficient condition. So the bio biology is necessary, but not sufficient. The interaction is the sufficient condition. So this is, gives birth to symbol formation. And that's where we get to the beginning of the first ideas. 